Well, good morning. My name is Tom. Get yourself a cup of coffee. I come to you from northern Maine. I'm working out of the shop today. So stick around for the adventure if you're interested. I got a brand new thermos. <laughs> well, I won't call it brand new. Got it at a lawn sale. <laughs> Next to nothing. <laughs> but perfect for what I want. One of them skinny ones. I've already got one. Fits really good in a knapsack. I don't go very many places without a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, summer's here. I had to trade in the flannel for a summer shirt. I feel like I'm, think I'm in Hawaii today. Little dinky cup. I don't know if I can get used to that or not. <laughs> Gonna have to go back for lots of refills. So what's today's project? Well, welcome to the adventures of Beaver Creek. Uh, hunt shacks, all, one's all built, ready to go in. I still don't have it moved in. The uh, trail's cut, so I'm ready there. Uh, but as you know by following these videos, uh, last time in I didn't have a cook stove in there. So today I'm working on the cook stove. I've got a camper cook stove that came out of a camper I salvaged three, four years ago. If you look back in my videos, uh, making something from nothing or something like that, back in my archives. Good morning. My name is Tom. Today's video is going to be more on the lines that I've been uh, uh, discussing in the last few videos is uh, developing your skills. Your skills as a uh, human being, whether you be woman or man or child, uh, just the different skills that you can take with you out into the bush and through your entire life. But uh, this is kind of a video about the myths of bushcraft and why I think uh, bushcraft skills are so misleading uh, in most of the videos that I see uh, on YouTube. It's like the end all. Uh, you learn your bushcraft skills and you will be, you will be successful out in the bush. Or you will be, uh, just if, if everything uh, uh, falls down around you and wherever you're from is so scary that you need bug out bags and you need a plan B to run to the hills to survive. Uh, I think you're missing the boat. And uh, stick around for this video. Uh, today's video is, is, I'm in front of this camper for a reason. This old camper is a slide-in camper that had a tree fall on it. It's, a, it's kind of a piece of junk. But with skills, and the skills that I'm talking about that you could learn, and you should learn if you really want to develop, let's, let's say, bushcraft skills, or, or just bug out skills, or whatever you're talking about. This is a gold mine. In that camper is everything you need to build a kitchen. And it doesn't take that many skills. You, there's so many pots in this old camper that you can rob out of it for an outdoor kitchen or for a cabin up north uh, that, you, that you're working on or whatever you're, whatever you're working on. In here is a stove, there's a refrigerator, there's gas lights, there's electrical pots, there's breaker boxes. There's so much stuff in this piece of junk camper that to most people it is a piece of junk. But if you learn some basic skills and being able to make something from nothing, uh, I think them are a lot better skills to be, be working on than just bushcraft skills. Building a fire out in the bush will only get you so far. Within a week you will be a starving pilgrim. If that's, a, that's the only skill that you have obtained out in the bush, and don't get me wrong, I think building a fire is, is, is one of the keys to success out there. But it's only one of, the, one of the keys. There's many keys. You have ten fingers. Let's say you've got ten reasons uh, to learn new skills. Till you get to the tenth finger, you should probably still be learning. If the only skill you've got right now is building a fire, you've still got nine more skills to learn. Uh, this is just one of them, because one of the other skills that I think you should be learning is how to prepare food, how to take care of food, uh, all of that. Uh, like can, uh, canning is, is smoking food and canning food 
is a, is a great way to preserve the food that's already up there just waiting for us. So that those are other skills that you don't see too many bushcrafters talking about. Uh, how, to, how to take care of the food that you have uh, acquired while you've been out there. So uh, that's why I think uh, the word bushcraft skills is a myth. A myth in what you actually really need to learn uh, to be successful uh, in your life as well as out in the bush. So enough of that. I'm going to take you inside the camper. There's the gas light. Refrigerator. Three burner stove. And the cook stove was one of them. Took it out, cleaned it up, tried it out, everything works on it. Okay, back here at the stove. Uh, I don't know if you know much about these little gas stoves, but in the oven is a uh, pilot light, uh, just like on any gas stove. I will need to get that pilot light to work in order for the oven to work. This right here is just a lid. It lifts up just like on a home gas stove. It'll lift up so you can get to where the burners are and where the gas connection is. There's a piece of 3 8 copper tubing that comes in here to the back. That's what feeds the propane. So what I've got right here for today, this is just going to be a temporary setup. I have a 20 pound uh, propane tank. This is a regulator off a gas grill. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this hose and hook it up uh, just so I can see if everything works. Then if everything works, then I'll build a permanent installation for it. But this is just to see if I can get everything to work out here in the driveway. So that's getting some legs built for it today. And I'll be hauling that in to Beaver Creek tomorrow. I need to put steel legs on it. Because as you all know, the uh, hunt shack over there is quite small. And I want the stove quite high. <laughs> Uh, the reason I want the stove high is because I'll be using the oven a lot. <coughs> because bringing in uh, cooked meals and stuff like that is a very easy way to go, especially during hunting season and, and bear season, all that stuff. You spend so much time out in the stand that cooking a decent meal uh, after, after hunting in the stand all day is uh, something I don't really want to do if I don't have to. But the older stoves, you have to light the pilot, which is in the very back of the oven. That's why I want the stove up high. Plus, it's close to the wood stove. So I can't get away with building a wood frame, uh, legs for it, or anything like that. So I'm going to build some steel legs for it today. And the, the stove is going to be 43 inches off the floor. Uh, because my counter is 42 inches off the floor. <laughs> so, again, high. It's more like a workbench than it is a counter. But I've got a buddy heater that will be going in and, and it's going to get installed underneath the counter. So again, that's why I boosted up the height of the counter so that I'd have room for the buddy heater. Heat, food, and a place to sleep. That's all we're really after. So come along if you're interested. Today we'll be building up, we'll be welding and cutting and all of that stuff. If you're interested in learning about that, that's what today's video is. I'm not a professional welder, so I don't think I am. I, I, a year ago I started studying uh, welding. I started studying the, it's a, it's a feed welder. Very simple to use. It was very easy to learn how to use it. So uh, if you're interested in taking care of some of your small projects, and welding up some of your own small projects uh, don't be afraid of it because this is a brand new skill for East Grand Woodsman learn 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 and keep learning <laughs> uh, I hope that I am learning until the day that I die because uh, skills bring security skills bring self-reliance there's nothing you can you're gonna be afraid of out in the bush uh, if, if you bring your skills with you because your skills give you confidence. You know, uh, I know that if I get into a pickle, I've probably been there before, <laughs> but if I get into a pickle, I know that I can figure out how to get out of that pickle. 
I'm going to figure out a way to do it uh, every time, all the time. It's been that way for 50 years of, of being a woodsman. So this is just another brand new skill that I need in my woodsman <laughs> experience. <laughs> we'll put it that way. <laughs> I feel like a teetotaler with this little tiny cup. So come along. <laughs> I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, that ought to hold it. Pretty rugged weld for a, <laughs> a little gas stove. <laughs>
That's going to go up against the back of the stove. Leg.
guess it'll be good enough for hold a stove. out of blade. <laughs> Guess I'll be back. Got a new blade. <laughs> Twenty six.
That's the stove upside down. Those are the two pots we just made. Two legs. So now I just gotta weld some legs on the front. Here's the new stove for Beaver Creek. It's got a nice oven. There it is. Ready for delivery. There you go! <laughs> Up close and personal for you guys that like uh, big fish. <laughs> That's quite a mouth right there. I don't care uh, who, who you're looking at. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. I don't, I'm just a big kid at heart. Uh, subscribe to the channel. This thing is all about the great outdoors here in the state of Maine. I primarily fish for lake trout and salmon, stuff like that, but I'm still a kid at heart, so catching a few of these in the course of a winter uh, sure brings back the love of ice fishing and all of that, and the reason that I am out here uh, doing this uh, so often, so you guys have a great day.